Hello and welcome to Inside Scoop. I'm Sumi Das. Joining us is executive editor of CNET News, Charles Cooper. Charles, it sounds so official. Can I just call you Coop? You may. All right. So, uh, news today, a bit of a surprise. Larry Ellison is stepping down from the CEO position at Oracle. Do we know why? Uh, because I think it's time. You yeah. know, he's been running this show since 1977. He's, he's done, 70 years old. He doesn't look it. Uh, he doesn't. Pl plastic surgery really helps. I'm glad uh, you said that. <laughs> look, he's done almost everything that you could imagine. Uh, you know, it's a storybook career. He's built uh, a startup over four decades into a multi-billion dollar enterprise. Right. He's taken the stock price to... It, he's done well. He's yeah. done well for shareholders, although of late the company has not been... Uh, hitting on all cylinders, uh, so perhaps that's part of the decision to get younger managers in place, both Safra Katz and Mark Hurd. They're very can-do people. They're very, very experienced. And for Ellison, you know, he owns most of the island of Lanai. He races in the America's Cup. He's got lots of yachts. He's cut a bella figura. Uh, I think he has other interests besides just clocking in at the office. And after four decades, yeah, why not? At age 70, he might just want to enjoy those things. I right? think so. Okay, so uh, you mentioned the names of the two CEOs, which um, I'm hearing that Oracle is intentionally not calling them co-CEOs. They're both CEOs. Tell yeah. us about these two people. Well, it's a, it's a bit of a, a, an odd arrangement. Uh, Safra Katz uh, has been there longer. Um, she's a very experienced, number-crunching executive, very strong leader, very competent. Nice to see a woman at the helm. Uh, absolutely, and, and you know she's one of the best out there. Yeah. Mark Hurd, uh, as you may recall, was the CEO uh, of uh, Hewlett Packard. He left a scandal hit. under a cloud, uh, but he's been there now for the last uh, few years, and right. um, no word of any scandal. He's, he's a very competent executive as well. Mm -hmm. So now it's maybe jump ball, see who who works out. There's some you know question how long this can last. You know, back in the days of the Roman Empire, at one point, I think during the time of Diocletian, they had four emperors simultaneously. It worked out, although the end result wasn't so great. Um, uh, the folks at Research in Motion had a dual CEO arrangement. That, too, didn't work, didn't work out, out ultimately. Yeah. But uh, Historically, it's not a, a popular way to kind of manage a company, is it? In the end, I think they need one boss, okay. but we'll see. We'll see how things shake out. Um, so how is the public kind of reacting to this news? We know that the stock price has been a little bit... In, a, in after hours, the stock price has been down. But again, that's uh, probably just the reaction. Wall Street doesn't like surprises. They'll yeah. get over this. Yeah. Ultimately, it's all about sales and earnings and whether or not they can continue to uh, meet and beat Wall Street's expectations. Okay. Do you think the tech community is going to miss Larry Ellison? He was such a um, controversial at times figure and just a presence, right? I think... Headline writers around the world are going to probably bow their heads and cry tonight because Ellison, going back in decades, you know, in the early, well, I believe around 2000 when the Microsoft antitrust case was going on, you know, Oracle basically it was called the dumpster diving uh, scandal. Ellison said he had no personal knowledge of it, but he did confirm that Oracle had paid investigators to look into companies which were funded by Microsoft in opposition to the government's you know, plan to break up the company. Um, you know, he's got a pretty much of a, a big mouth. He, uh, he can back it up, and he talks the talk, and he's walked the walk. And, you know, it, it's, it's delightful to see somebody who's very comfortable in his or her own skin mm -hmm. who says it like it is. Right. Uh, we're in a very scripted uh, world now, unfortunately, and people reserve their, their true sentiments for behind closed doors. With Ellison, for the most part, what you saw was what there was. Yeah, he was honest. He was. You could say that about him. All right, Coop, Charlie Cooper, to those of you who want to be more formal, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Sumi. For Inside Scoop, I'm Sumi Dallas. Thanks for watching.